Samatra tiger, but animals that they share their habitat with. So um, in Sumatra, that's um, rhinoceros, Asian elephants, um, orangutans, all these beautiful animals that share their home uh, with the Sumatran tiger. So it's really, really important, guys. Now, uh, as I said, we support the Sumatran tiger in a number of ways. Um, obviously, we do have a breeding program here at Australia Zoo. And that's not to release into the wild, though, guys. That's actually to ensure that there is a genetically diverse um, population in captivity. And we contribute to that with our Sumatran tigers. But as far as field work goes, we actually send a lot of uh, equipment, a lot of funding over to an organisation called Fauna and Flora International. And they have, over in Sumatra, law enforcement agents or groups that go out into the forest. They're called tiger or anti-poaching patrol units, or tiger patrol units. And these guys go out into the forest and they take down snares that are set up trying to catch tigers like Charlie. They uh, help mitigate conflict, actually, between um, locals and, of course, tigers. Um, obviously, here in Australia, if we have a koala or a kangaroo in our backyard, it's not very scary. Uh, over in Indonesia, if you have a Sumatran tiger eyeing off your cattle, it's very, very scary and it's very dangerous. So, unfortunately, uh, in the past, many of these animals have been poisoned or shot. Uh, these um, tiger patrol units will actually communicate with locals and say, you know, if, if you ever see a tiger, ring us up, you know, we'll come and trap them and we'll take them away. And they do that quite a lot. And it's actually working, um, very, it's been very successful. Um, these guys do a great job. Uh, they leave their families for 